Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here as per always. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this simple guide for the best way of farming the Warden's Law Hand Cannon. A real unique hand cannon exclusive to the Warden of Nothing Nightfall Strike. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy day Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so you guys can see my version of this Warden's Law hand cannon on the screen now this is the fixed roll version dropping with Rampage fourth times a charm and with a range masterwork 10 weapon is a monster people when you're playing PvP and that Rampage kicks in it two taps to the head absolute beast but it also drops with random rolls. My pal using this farm guide got this variant with Rampage and Outlaw with stability as the masterwork though. Thing is there are many different variants you guys can chase for this weapon. And to give yourselves the best chance in getting this weapon, here is what you do. Select the Warden of Nothing Nightfall Strike. Firstly, you want to set a high score of over 100,000. This is really easy to do on this strike for sure, people. When I did it, we wasn't really even trying that hard and we broke 140k. Using the challenge card, here is what you want to select. Firstly, the burn type. Here, use whatever your fire team has highest leveled weapons for. I mean, in my opinion, solo would be the best choice, but void or arc in this strike would be fine also just with solar even though the majority of the weapons within the strike are solar in my opinion the most powerful heavy weapons in the game are solar weapons like the spindle and the sleeper but hey this is your choice so the first mod you want to use is match game enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage types blackout enemy melee attacks are significantly more powerful and radar is disabled and then you want extinguish if you're fighting fools in a restricted zone everyone is returned to orbit. Now we don't pick these mods to make it fun, we pick these mods to get a 2.95 times modifier on your score. Using these mods means you don't have to use the handicap feature which lowers your overall power level. Although lowering your power level by about 10 would add a 0.40 to your overall score multiplier and 10 less levels, let's face it if you are around that 600 mark you wouldn't even notice it. Well here that is completely down to you. Now because match game is on, each person in your fight team needs to use a different energy weapon in terms of elemental output. One uses solar, one uses arc and one uses void. This is just to take off enemy shields. Because blackout is on, be careful of your surroundings as no radar means you can't see if enemies are creeping up behind you. And if they are strong enough, this modifier means that melee attacks can one hit you. And extinguish if your entire team dies at the same time within a restricted spawn zone. Well, you'll be returned to orbit like the original Nightfall days of D1, so be super careful. You have around 40 minutes to set a decent score before your score starts dropping, but the strike is kind of short, so you should have plenty of time, so take your time. So start up the Nightfall and get that 100k score. Now upon me killing the boss and getting that 100 plus k score, I had my luckiest loot drop ever. I got the Queen Breaker's Bow and I got the Warden's Law. Gotta tell you guys, I scream like a little kid in a candy shop. Now if you don't get it this time, that's fine. This is where the farming starts. Go back to that challenge card and deselect Extinguish, Blackout and Match Game. Keep the burn of your choice on and then select Heavyweight. Also reset your handicap if you use this to set that 100 plus K score. With this challenge card set up like this, just run the Nightfall confirmed by Bungie. If you set the high score first, every other post run you do, it increases your chances of getting that exclusive loot. So start it up and tear through people. This Nightfall is so so easy and it's relatively short so it shouldn't be taking you more than 7 or 8 minutes to run it. Using this method in mind I guarantee you guys you will get that Warden's Law and maybe even something else while you are at it. But yeah people this is the best farming guide in getting that Warden's Law, the Warden of Nothing exclusive hang cannon. Thing is a beast. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, live PvP gameplays, just about everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong
never get it right.